Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Actually, you chose this one because I had the pleasure of interviewing Harish from Agam and he was a delight to interview and is really a really, really interesting guy as well as a fantastic singer. I'd already done a reaction to him and was bowled away by the agility of his voice, but there is so much more to him. So I'll link you into the interview at the end and you can find it on all podcast platforms. It's on Spotify, Google Play, you know all the places, Apple Music, and it's Good Job with Beth Roars. All right, let's get to the reaction. so beautifully filmed as well just the instrumental makes me want to cry I don't even want to stop this. The way that it's building is so beautiful and I love the way that he combines different styles. So you've got a lot of Western elements in there with the orchestra and with the guitars and stuff. Now his trademark is combining prog metal and South Indian classical music. And here it is, it's a little bit more orchestral, but it's just beautiful and I love the choir. So agile. Oh, and the strings. Okay, here comes the prog. Prog metal. Yes. So what's interesting, you can hear all these interesting rhythms here and the change of time signature and things like that. And he talks about this a little bit in the podcast, how actually this very complicated changing of rhythm happens both in prog metal and in South Indian music. So it was a natural meeting for them. Now, I have to say, I will put my hands up and be like, I am not an expert in this style of singing one bit, but I do think that there are elements that cross all genres and without going into the details stylistically of what he is doing, there are things that are very important that are making this beautiful like the build the dynamics how each instrument slowly he added new layers and new layers the change of tempo the change of time signatures Ugh. i love how there's just little bits of everything coming in so many different styles This is his brain. It's like so complex and unexplainable. With a spiritual edge. Mm. 
Okay, what is amazing about this and what I'm really enjoying is that he has these moments of extreme ornamentation, which is very much stylistically within both South and North Indian music, but particularly South Indian music. And this is a lot. There's a lot going on, but he knows when to step back. There are times where he's just holding notes and letting it flow and letting it ooze and using his dynamics. And it's not all about ornamentation. When the ornamentation then comes in, it's like, oh, it really hits you because, oh, I mean, it's mad. <laughs> it's uh, very, very difficult. <laughs> I just love the elements of... There are so many opposing elements in this. You have the simplicity of some moments, and then you have these highly complex moments where you have notes everywhere, all the instruments are playing lots of different things, there's changes of time signatures, you've got instruments from metal, from Indian classical music, and from orchestral music, and there's elements from so many different styles there, and then you have these moments of just stillness and simplicity within it. He's a clever man. And they are clever people. All of them. One of these simple moments. Where his voice just flows. I love that little phrase. I might have to go back and listen to that again. That was so good. Okay, let's listen to it again. I have to. <laughs> I love that again. I have to listen again. I don't understand how he gets so many notes in that fast. I mean, I, I do understand it. It's physically possible. It, it just is not easy. I mean, I am not someone who naturally has an agile voice. So for me, any sort of agility within songs has taken so long for me to learn and it can be learned, but that is so precise, so fast. <laughs> And it's so easy, these high notes for him as well. just amazing these little moments they're so small but they just get me in my soul where I'm just like oh that run all oh, this moment and then these these straight flowing phrases and the build there's so much going on in this but yeah I could just imagine putting on in the background and being like and chilling out it's like full of hope isn't it Full of hope and joy. <laughs> it 
It's making me feel quite emotional, but in like a really joyous, happy way. What a fabulous piece of art. And I'm not using the term art lightly because here, you know, there's a lot of music that is great in its own right, but here everything is so precisely thought out. There's so much attention to detail. There is change, there is emotion. Uh, it, I love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.